Welcome back to Cryptos Are Us. I am George. We're all George. So what is going on with Bitcoin? What exactly is going on with Bitcoin? I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty clear. But uh, in tonight's stream, I want to talk about what's going on, how we should ignore it, how we should treat the whole situation, and what we should all do about it, most importantly. So... Thanks for tuning in. As always, smash the like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Two streams every day, 11.30 and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you hit that notification bell and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. A lively crowd. Uh, over 2,000 people tuned in. I know a lot of you guys are very angry. A lot of you guys are upset. A lot of you guys don't know what the hell is going on as Bitcoin clings on to 45,000 so you can see ever since this mister you know what I'm not even gonna say his name anymore I'm just gonna say in one of my patreon members I'm not gonna give him the time of day anymore so I'm just gonna call him Elon okay so I'm just gonna say from now on when I'm referring to you know who I'm gonna call him Elon and not actually his real name but Elon we know started some controversy last last few days or actually a few days ago and has been adding to that controversy and adding to the trolling and now it's beyond trolling the Elon seems to just be angry just downright angry and picking on fights and and just just not making a whole lot of sense including including what could be a gigantic SEC violation which is answering this troller's tweet. So as you can see, people are picking this up. Trust me, a lot of you guys have been saying, oh, why doesn't SEC do something about it? Trust me, the SEC has paid attention and they know what's going on. But out of everything that he has said, this may be the most damning thing. And that is when this one troll, Mr. Whale, um, said Bitcoiners are going to slap themselves next quarter when they found out Tesla dumped the rest of their Bitcoin holdings. With the amount of hate Elon is getting, I wouldn't blame him. And Elon responded, indeed. Is that confirmation? Is that confirmation that Tesla will be dumping or has dumped Bitcoin? I think this is the most upsetting thing. And this is what may get him in real trouble. We know, Te we know not Tesla, Elon has done stuff like this before. Not too long ago, he bragged about taking Tesla private and how he had the funds secured. Guess what? He did not have funds secured, nowhere close to it. And the SEC is like, okay, that's a big violation because by saying that, he pumped up Tesla tremendously. And after getting a fine and after being set, told that, hey, you better watch yourself on Twitter, he has been until he hasn't. But really nothing is a real violation outside of this. Because if he implies, well, he did imply, that Tesla is either selling or have sold Bitcoin. And it turns out neither of those things happen. Guess what? That's a big, big, big no-no. So out of everything that he has said, this has to be the worst. The worst thing and the most questionable thing. Why he would even try to respond to something like that, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Come this week, trust me, everyone's going to be talking about this. Everyone's going to be deciding whether or not he's legit or just a total fraud at this point. Now, besides this, now besides Elon saying that he indeed will be dumping Bitcoin, you look at, he started trolling Michael Saylor out of the blue. Michael Saylor is the person that got him involved in the first place. I think most people know that Michael Saylor and Elon, they had a Twitter chat. And then afterwards, shortly afterwards, Elon, Elon decided to buy Bitcoin. Now, he's just trolling him. You know, after uh, Michael answered about this energy thing, about uh, how Bitcoin creates layers of security based on their monetary ne uh, network converting energy into prosperity, uh, Elon responded sailor moon and then of course doge people want to chime in and then of course elon continued to troll and saying he should wear outfit for halloween but with bitcoin tattooed high on thighs again 
Is this is this uh, <laughs> is this not trolling or just not being childish? I mean, this is you know. First of all, we know Michael is not like a guy that, <laughs> that Michael is all serious, all business. He's not a guy that that goes back and forth, bantering back and forth. So first of all, I don't know what Elon is doing, why he's trying to troll the person that really got him involved. Maybe he's angry at Michael. I don't know, but this this has been happening all day today, all day today. And, you know, that's not it. That's not all. You know, obviously, uh, uh, if you look at, like, Peter uh, McCormick or Peter McObnoxious now, you know, he was going, he was trying to have a decent conversation with Elon, but Elon called him obnoxious. And then, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He did make two comments, okay? And I want to address these two because I think some people say, well, these two things are real. Number one is Bitcoin is actually highly centralized with super majority controlled by a handful of big miners. OK, single coal mine in uh, Zhengjiang flooded, killing miners and Bitcoin hash rate dropped 35 percent. First of all, he's saying that, yeah, killing almost killing miners as if Bitcoin caused that. No, no. The, the coal mine, if it flooded, has nothing to do with Bitcoin causing that. And plus, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's not addressing, you know, he keeps pushing Dogecoin. Dogecoin, we know, is controlled. One person controls like 27% of supply. He doesn't care about that, but he's singling out Bitcoin. And yet, you know what? If China, if China, let's just say, shut off all Bitcoin mining, guess what? The network continues on. Other parts of the region of the world will pick up the hash power. So, yes, maybe it is a little bit centralized in China right now. But we know if China ever bans or kicks out all the miners, guess what? The Bitcoin network continues on and will thrive. In fact, there's already statistics about how that's already starting, how the North American miners are catching up in hash rate in a big way and pretty soon may have the majority over China and everyone else. So that's already happening, but he's like, you know, like misdirectioning, right? And then here, and then he wants to brag about himself a little bit. Hey, cryptocurrency experts, ever heard of PayPal? It's possible, maybe, that I know more than you realize about how money works. Of course, Elon is referring to the fact that he was one of the founders of PayPal. But I think a lot of you guys didn't know that Elon, Elon was actually fired from PayPal for doing a horrible job. This is just like the ex-CEO of PayPal that claimed that that Bitcoin was a Ponzi. And guess what? That PayPal CEO was also fired from the job. So even though, yes, Elon did start PayPal, he wasn't very good at it and he was kicked out from it. So the fact that he's claiming that he knows how money works because he's a co-founder of PayPal, that's that's kind of questionable. That's kind of questionable. So with all that said, OK, we know Elon is having a really, really, really weird day. Really weird day. I don't know what's going on. He smoked a bit too much, did too much shrooms, did a little too much crack. I don't know what's going on, but obviously today is not a very good day and he's taking it out on Bitcoiners, maybe. He's not used to the hate that he's getting. He, he, he Before, he was like beloved by all the, all the people, crypto people and Tesla people, and he just re he pissed off. Actually, half, half the people that really love him. So I don't know what Elon is doing, but here's the thing. Elon, despite the fact he does have a lot of power, he is causing a lot of FUD right now. He himself, no one man controls Bitcoin. Bitcoin has seen many, many, many periods where it's similar. It seems like one person or one event or one news has pulled it down and that there's no way that Bitcoin could recover. Well, guess what? It has. It always has. Every single time. And I would argue on its way up in 2017 when China itself declared that they were going to ban Bitcoin, that was a lot more devastating because at that time, again, the same kind of FUD was swirling around how countries wanted to ban Bitcoin. And China actually did it. And everyone thought that was the end of Bitcoin. And guess what? It wasn't. Bitcoin thrived and continued. And we have seen guys, financial guys like Jamie Dimon and, and uh, Warren Buffett and all these guys come out, say bad things about Bitcoin. Guess what? Bitcoin survived. 
So we will survive Elon's uh, FUD and trolling. And you know what? Other billionaires, you know, he's not the only billionaire, although he's one of the, the, the top ones, but he's not the only billionaire that has something to say. You know, obviously we know Michael Saylor, his stance. We know that he continues onwards, right? And here's a recent one, Norwegian billionaire. Um, I, I can't even pronounce his name. Kiel Eagle. <laughs> Uh, he recently he recently came in and bought Bitcoin and he's like Elon's comments haven't changed anything Bitcoin is becoming mainstream is inevitable. It's not going to change. So screw what Elon is saying, right? So, you know, it's not just one person that's controlling the whole market. No, it's nowhere close to that nowhere close to that and you still have a ton of supporters behind Bitcoin that is not going to change. So what we're experiencing now will pass, will pass. And here, Mike Novogratz and his company, Galaxy Digital, also someone that really supports Bitcoin, decided to do some research as well. You know, all this energy consumption and how it seems like Bitcoin's energy consumption is so much more, so much more than everything else. Well, guess what? Galaxy Digital decided to compare. Bitcoin takes about 100 terawatts per year. Guess what? Gold mining takes a lot more than that. In fact, double, close to 250 terawatts per hour. What about the banking system of the world? 260 terawatts per hour, right? So when you compare it to gold mining, compare it to the banking system, it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. And what Elon, uh, uh, Michael Saylor argued is, if you look at the total value on network versus the energy usage, it's actually getting more efficient. Bitcoin is actually getting more efficient and will become one of the most efficient financial systems ever in history as Bitcoin's price goes up. So there you go. That's also debunking some of the FUD going on right now. Now, of course, when there is a lot of FUD, I've, I've mentioned this earlier today, my earlier video, there are whales that are still trying to take advantage. OK, of course, whales will do whalish things. I've said that before and I showed this and I'm going to show it again because it's very obvious. It's very obvious. So right now we look at all Bitcoin's inflowing to exchanges. You'll notice that when Elon decided to tweet out, you have a mass inflow of BTC and even so some now. Right. This is all exchanges. But you look at this versus spot exchanges, then you realize well, retail people aren't, aren't selling. Retail people are not depositing Bitcoin to sell. It's pretty much consistent. So who is it? Well, it's the whales utilizing derivative exchanges. And you can see huge, huge, huge influx, right? And even a little bit more right now. Of course, whales are going to take advantage of the situation. They're going to utilize leverage and drive more fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And they could do so with their leverage, with their whaleish bitcoins right so you don't want to fall for that you don't want to fall for that either so right now you have a line causing fud you have whales that are trying to trying to add on top of it but like i've always said bitcoin is not commanded by any one person it will survive it's much stronger than you think and it always tends to recover better and do better than what people think a lot of people are predicting some crazy numbers where bitcoin can hit this and this and this and this and they have done so for the past six months bitcoin has uh surprised and shocked most of them because it is much stronger and it will continue and this is not the end and the only strategy that works is to dollar cost average buy and hold. That's that's really it. That's really it. And another thing that I was making an argument about is altcoins. Altcoins also show that retail investors are very, very strong, despite the fact that, yeah, Bitcoin is down 6% and down 23% for the week. You look at, well, even compared to Ethereum, Ethereum is only down 13%. So holding stronger. ADA up 21%. Dogecoin up 21%. Well, we know why Dogecoin is up. But you look at XRP. Polkadot, Polkadot is only down 3% versus 23%, right? And you go down the list and you realize a lot of the altcoins are actually doing much better than Bitcoin. And that's because retail investors realize, well, uh, I, I should learn from my mistakes. I've, I've fallen for FUD before. I should 
learn from that and you know what take advantage and buy and hold all and you know what that's why a lot of these altcoins are holding much much stronger than bitcoin of course when everything seems to be you know somewhat red bitcoin is coming down the fiat value of your portfolio is probably down but if you look at the btc value of your portfolio if you're holding altcoins if you're doing diversified it's actually going up at least minus and i know a lot of you guys have the same situation right so if you're gaining on bitcoin you're gaining on bitcoin that is also a win in my book so stay strong stay strong don't fall for the fud we will pass this we will pass this bitcoin will get through it crypto market will get through it right now it seems like it may seem like this is the end of the world it's gonna get a lot worse but trust me there's been many 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 times in bitcoin's history that have done this and we have always always gotten past them all right guys that's pretty much it uh let me do some uh let me do some super uh q a remember start calling him Elon, not you know <laughs> don't address him by his real name anymore um yeah john walter says Elon has let his hands i think so I, I don't know what prompted this again i don't know what's prompted this pressure green energy you know refunds funding um whatever i don't know what started but i it's pretty obvious he doesn't like he doesn't like the hate towards him and he's just fueling it now and i think he he's gonna realize that this is a crowd that's not gonna go away jenna <laughs> um Matt C, whales are going to be on the market so they can swoop in and make a killing. Hold on, my friends. Buy the dip. Next guy up is 70K. I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, you know, people always ask me, well, why do whales want to drive things down? It's easy. It's easy because they want to buy cheap Bitcoins. They want you to sell your Bitcoins to them, right? Bitcoin has a limited supply and they want to accumulate as much as possible. And one way to do so is to drive FUD, cause people to panic sell, and then... They could scoop up for cheap. So that's the, the the name of the game. That's what the big guys do. That's what whales do. They buy low, sell high, right? But they have powers to kind of kind of fear people into doing that, right? So you don't want to fall for it. Saying, don't you think everyone jumping on the A-line FUD is doing more damage than uh, sweet? No, I actually don't think so. I mean, yes, you don't want to give him all the attention, but it's clear that you need to address it. You can't pretend like it didn't happen. That won't do anything. You need to face it head on and address it. And basically how we're going to end up winning is the community just says, screw you. We're going to continue on. We don't need you. We never needed you. It was nice to have you aboard, but we don't need you. So the community needs to stand together, but you can't just ignore it. You have to address it. But collectively, we will win. Nar, Nar, Nar asks, you mentioned ADA has the ability to compete with ETH. Does Link have to compete with either of these? You got to realize Link does not compete with them. They're not the same coins at all. So if you're asking that question, you probably need to do some research. Link is not a smart contracts play. They're Oracle. ADA and ETH, on the other hand, are smart contract plays. Ibex BSC just released a few hours ago. App being built. Okay, thanks for the update. Most indicators are in red. I appreciate opting in those. Still tempted to tether some. Hey, you could go ahead. You could go ahead and do so, but... Bitcoin is already down. So you're you're timing it basically when it's near bottom or is bottom. So I don't know. That's not very smart. Gabriel, appreciate that. Uh, BDC versus Doge one What do you think about Richard Hart forking Ethereum with his Pulse blockchain? What what happened to Hex? 
So he's giving up on it now. I, I, I stopped paying attention to him ever since he created this, this hex, which is just a money grab, just like all these other meme coins. So I stopped paying attention to him a long time ago. Uh, is Synthetics a good project? Is it undervalued? Right now, I mean, honestly, a lot of projects are undervalued, okay? Because there is a big discount on them and they are a bargain. So Synthetic is one of the ones, I think it's okay, it's neutral, more like creating synthetic things, but you can definitely see there's a lot, a lot of things on discount. But keep in mind, if you look at the prices on a lot of these altcoins, you know, you only have to go back like two weeks, three weeks, you know, so they're not, they're not like at levels from like three months ago. No, they're like at levels basically two or three weeks ago, right? So that shows you how strong all coins are. Not all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are. A lot of them have been doing very, very, very well. But the ones that are a little bit weaker, well, you could argue that this is a good time to be picking up. Ravane, Ravane is like a, like a, like a, what is it? A, a ratings play. They've been around for a while. I haven't seen much traction with them, honestly. <laughs> Do I like reviewing cars more than crypto? Not right now, no. I've reviewed so many cars, so I mean, it's like it's kind of boring now. I would love to review some like some high-end exotic cars, but Crypto Shack, appreciate it. Uh, Theta, yeah, I definitely think Theta is a good pickup. Theta is a fantastic project. I do like them quite a bit. Um, yeah, T Fuel as well. Anchor, Anchor is a decent play. You know, one click node deployment. You know, they're they're decent. Um, someone asked about Model Y, Maki, or Etron. I actually picked a Maki. I think Maki is a really, really, really nice car. But I hear there's problems with charging and stations and stuff like that. So I haven't tested those features. Uh, did you see Mark uh, Charles Hoskins video to Mark Cuban yesterday? No, I saw the tweets back and forth, but that that interests me. So I do want to see that. Uh, hopefully it wasn't condescending. Hopefully it was in a nice manner. I think Mark Cuban just didn't know much about Cardano or Charles. So hopefully it was done in a respectful way. <laughs> Uh, John, I do like AMP quite a bit. Once the economy opens up, I think they'll do much better. Uh, thanks to you, I bought two Bitcoins at 43.877. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're already up. You're already up. Uh, yeah, David. Uh, Charles made a great video. Okay, good, good. Do you like the theory that Dogecoin is a blank canvas of Elon becoming crypto king savior? No, no, I don't think so. There, there's something going on with him and Doge. I think it's because, well, first of all, I realized that Barry Schilbert declared that he was shorting doge and we know elon hates shorters so that could be part of the reason and this whole thing about them elon talking to them in 2019 i don't know there's something there's something to that like i don't know if he's invested or or something is there you know to have him be so strongly connected to the project so it's kind of weird Will SEC go after Elon uh, right now? I mean, based on this, yeah, because he's basically implying that they will be selling or they have sold. And if it turns out in the next quarterly that they haven't, the SEC is going to have a problem with it because basically that's, that's giving false information. That's giving false information. This is something that he was caught doing before and uh, he should not be doing so. I did not say Schilbert, Schilbert, or Silbert, or Schilbert. Well, Schilbert sounds better. Uh, uh, 
I hope the Dogecoin community doesn't catch a lot of flack for this. Oh, they will. They will. And there's a lot, a lot of them, um, you know, even the hardcore Doge guys don't like what's going on. Some of them are in it for the money, so they don't care. They're, they're, you know, adding fuel to fire. But a lot of them, I could tell, really does not like what's going on either. So this is turning out to be one big, you know, SHIT show. Uh, guys, don't panic and hold up. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, <laughs> see, VI, VIP Wolf, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people are feeling the same thing. Uh, people are asking about Elrond. I think Elrond is a good, good blockchain, fast blockchain with... DeFi aspects coming to it. So I think Elrond is good. Right now, I think it's a good pickup. XLM learned that they're doing a little more with Visa and and uh and you know more with DeFi. I think that's why Stellar was doing good uh last few weeks too. I've not heard about Ernex. Um Donkey Finance, supposedly a new gamified yield farming seems interesting. Okay. Don Key. Is this is this the one that is this the one that Rand keeps shilling? Is it is that is that the one? Yeah, it is. I I'm not gonna look at it. You know, honestly, Rand, you know, he he <laughs> he he shows enough projects, so uh, I'm just gonna leave it be. Uh Keep it up. Appreciate it. Anchor. Yep. B Pro ADA synthetic nice price. Yes. The best way to look at it is things are cheap right now. You can buy things for a discount. That's the best way to look at it, right? Like some of the most famous investors, they have said buy when there's blood in the streets or buy when others are fearful. Buy low, sell high. That's the name of the game, right? And we know that a lot of these projects, they have very strong backings, very strong followers. They have traction and they're not going to go away anytime soon just because of one man's uh, tweet raid, let's just say. Right. So you definitely want to take advantage when you can. Right. And that's the name of the game. Basically, you buy low, sell high. And that's it. That's it. Sleek construction. Uh, I th I think you're right about that. I think you're right about that. Uh, I wonder what uh, Max Kaiser. I wonder if he chimed in yet. I haven't looked at anything he said, but uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm curious what he he has to say about it. Thoughts on Litecoin? I think it's still a good hold. I think uh, they're still good. They haven't been so good recently because of what's going on with Bitcoin, but. I do think that they can turn around. Well, but we'll see. We'll see if that's the case. I think anything right now. What? All right. Been with you. Two down sixteen. Keep grinding. Appreciate it. Sally, two super chats. Appreciate it. Uh, you think the institutions might be causing dips? I do think so. Well, I'm not institutions. I think it's 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 the whales that's that's causing flow with this. Uh, Matt Smith, your butt hurt, aren't you? Don't this doge. I just got done saying. See, you're you're one of those guys. You don't care. You you just don't want people to say anything bad because you're a Dogecoin holder. So you know, guys like you, just like you know what? I don't, I don't even want to see you on the channel anymore. Um. All right, I think that's it. No, I don't think Doge Army is the problem. So you have hardcore crypto guys. You have a lot of people that's in projects because they support it, they believe in it, whatever, right? But then you have all the newcomers that jump in that just wants to become a millionaire overnight. Those are the guys that are adding fuel to the fire. Those are the guys that are going crazy. Like the guy just super chatted me. At least I got 15 bucks out of it. But, um, you know, those are the guys that's that's causing harm. But the, the, the hardcore... Doge guys, the ones that's been in it for a while, they don't even like this. They don't like what's going on. 
So you got you got two sides of it. You can't just blame all on one side. Well, you could blame Elon. I think everyone's blaming Elon, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on today with him. I just don't. But doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He does not control the market. He does not control Bitcoin. We will get past this. We always do. We always do. So it's best just uh, forget him. Forget him. That's why I'm calling him Elon. <laughs> uh cream technicals look good uh you know what i don't know too much about cream i don't know too much about cream so uh, i oh, i do know aren't they the guys that that uh they're the consulting company for v chain something like, I, I remember that don't sleep on bake i remember bake i remember bake uh going to liquidate scott johnson's going to liquidate some uh, alts to buy bdc what should i hold I think the, that list that you have, Matic, Ada, Link, Dot, Solana, VeChain, they're all good ones. They're all good ones. All right, guys. That is it. That is it. Um, you know what? Bitcoin's still holding above 40, 45,000. Broke down a few times, but it's still holding. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Obviously, Asia already woke up. A lot of people are wondering, hey, is Asia going to sell off? Well, Asia's already awake, so... Seems like they're just kind of holding steady. So let's see what happens this week. Let's see what happens. There's just there was just so much going on this weekend. Just so much. I think it's more than what people expected. So let's see what happens this week. And let's see what happens with the broader market, if they contribute or not, and what people say about Elon and his crazy weekend rant. Yeah, weekend rant. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, guys, stay strong. Take advantage when you can, dollar cost average, holdle, and that is the name of the game. All right, thanks for tuning in. As always, smash a like, subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.